Let's make Olimar dizzy! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Happy Plays Pikmin! In the last episode, we finished off the impact site and grew the, our number of 11 blues up to a number of 179 blues. Now it's time to finish off the Forest of Hope. Hopefully, we will finish this off anyway, in one day. Oh man, this is probably going to be the last time we ever hear this song. Kind of sad. But I guess we can put it on Brawl on repeat. On the Pikmin stage that no one plays because it is illegal. And everyone hates the Bulborg. Anyway, I'm going to get 100 blues. Oh, some of those are still leaves. Especially since we're going to be fighting a boss with the blues. Which, again... I don't think counts as a boss. I mean, okay, it's, I would consider it. I would consider a boss, even though there are more than one of this enemy. Um, it's, uh, but there's actually three of these enemies in like a tri triangulated area. Guys, come on! I know you guys can put one foot in front of the other without tripping. Okay, we still have a few leaves, but that's all right. Honey Wisp, um, nope. Those things, if you hit them, um, will instantly kill them, and they'll drop nectar, and it'll be happy, happy joy times for a bit, because they get their nectar. Okay, we're going to go around these bulb worms. I'm not, I'm not sure if I killed these. One, actually, no, because I, I usually do that on the end of day three, and we were barely, we were kind of strapped for time that day. Oh, and... I'm, I said there were three of these um, bosses. Only. Ah, oh, come on. Stop falling, guys. Only one of them has the ship part. Thus, we will only be um, defeating one of them, even though they are actually pretty easy, and we probably had enough. We would probably have enough time to kill all of them, but I'm not going to, because the only thing they do is drop pellets, and our blue Pikmin numbers is 179. So, no need. No need. Okay, I'm going to try and carry as many as possible, but I lost a few, but that's alright. Meet the Burrowing Snagrit! Oh, dang it. I lost some. Okay, he's going to kind of snatch Pikmin from you, but it's kind of alright. Oh, darn it, come on. I want You know what I want you to do. Okay, there we go. He's going to come in beak first, like that, and that's basically almost going to be his death right there. Because I, um, he takes more damage if hit on the um, head than the body. Also, did I mention he's part bird and snake, which is actually a really cool combo. Also, I hate that noise of the Pikmin getting in and out of the water. It sounds like the game is glitching. Okay, um, not all you guys need. Anyway, the if blue Pikmin carry this back, they're actually going to take a shortcut through the water, which won't wake up any of the other burrowing snaggers, I don't think. Good. Um, anyway, we, we lost five Pikmin, but that's actually a not half bad number. Okay, everyone get in the water quick before the game glitches out. Okay. We are going to start building this bridge for red Pikmin. Um, that should be quickly, and then there's a gate that needs to be taken down by Blue Pikmin. So we can face off another boss, mini-boss thing. I call it a boss, but, you know, there's more than one of them, so I guess technically... It, I don't know, what... How do you determine what's a boss and what's not a boss? Like, I mean, if there's more than one of them, then it's a mini-boss. Like, if it's rare, but there's more than one of them, it's like a mini-boss, but if there's only one, it's a boss. Geiger counter, this noisy gauge is always lift, letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. Yeah, I think there's um, radioactive material around here. One more, and we actually get to explore a new area. But I'm going to do these in an organized fashion, so I'm not going to go to the new area... Until I defeat, oh gosh, is the, the spot, the dwarf is over there too. Um, until I finish off the, um, Force Nagel. 
Okay, um... I can't tell from here if the blues are almost done. Wow, that is going... That is a long bridge, admittedly, but that seems like it's going pretty slow for 60 flower blues. Can I? Oh, barely not. I guess I should probably, um... Uh, you can kind of slingshot um, Pikmin if you um, press A and hold. Uh, I guess not. Anyway, enough with that. Um, here's some shade grubs. I'm going to kill them, obviously. And I'm going to, you know, sacrifice some blades to it. Um, let's see. I can probably get. Let's see. Let me get 30. Can I, like, just get... Twenty, it's fine. And get the rest working on this little bridge right here. Now, the sheer grubs and wigs... Or, share. Um, I think the grubs do it, too. Or the wigs do it, too, where they, um... They'll basically eat at a bridge. Therefore, destroying your progress, and that's hence why their placement is right there. Just to probably show off that feature. It really isn't presented too often in this game, I've noticed. Oh. Run away, run away. Um, it's not really presented too much in this game. I think it's shown a little bit more often in Pikmin 2, but I don't know. Yeah, ha. Huh. Okay. There we go. That that isn't really too big of a ha. Don't mess with the blues. I'll take those back as bait. Uh, and those who didn't get the chance can come with me, and we'll get a ship part. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to mind visions of my son back at. Home on planet Hakatate. Oh, to be back there right now. Yeah, Alomar's getting a little homesick at this point. Uh, wow, that went by really quickly. That was the gate, I think, for um the Watergate. Ha! Ha! Uh, Watergate. Get it? Get it? Get it? Watergate. Yeah, that's funny. Um. Anyway, we're gonna put the blues away because we don't. We only need. We really don't need any blues to fight. We need reds because reds are our fighters. They're our fighter pilots. 30 over there. 30. I must have. What? There's a collection of them right there. Okay, my numbers seem to be off a bit. And I don't know how it got like that, but... Honestly, I probably could fight this with blues, but it would just be harder. Half the day left. Um, we want to get as many reds out as possible as we watch this little cutscene. Oh, you can see the pellets we dropped uh, over in the corner. Or the bird snagger dropped, rather. Doesn't seem like a good number to actually. 46. I can't have that many blues over there, can I? Maybe that's why I go back, went by so quickly. I had a lot of blues over there. Goomba stomp! Okay, so we're going to get him on these on the sledge, and we're going to have him break down that wall while I probably go get back and get more red Pikmin. Since that is a ridiculous number right there. 47. Not to mention there were 
few back at base that were planted, so... Yeah, I, I'm just gonna have to go back and get more reds. Okay. Get everyone out of the ground. Everyone back in your onion. Still says I have three Pikmin out. Dang it! Oh my gosh, are you seriously... I know I said I don't want any Pikmin... Oh left behind, like, the whole no Pikmin left behind thing, but, like, honestly, I'm going, that is a last priority, because I need to stay on track. It's, I'm just sorry, Pikmin. Because it's coming down to the wire when it comes to actually daytime. Also, by the way, this um, enemy's carcass actually gives 50 Pikmin too, so. Um, if you need Pikmin, I'd suggest bringing it back, but um, should part always should get priority. And if you do it right, where you glitch out the game, um, you can actually bring it back without it killing the boss, or the mini boss, or whatever you want to call it. But um, I usually just kill it, just... Because, I mean, also if there's time, I can run back and, or I can take the carcass back if I have enough Pikmin surviving. And I have like 97 right now. I would have 97. So what you want to do is, when this enemy is inhaling, like that, you want to throw Pikmin into its little blowhole thing, run around its back, and throw toss Pikmin on its back. Oh, wow, I didn't do that right. Usually takes a couple cycles. See, it's going to shoot out a boulder and kill a Pikmin in the process. Okay, turn around, buddy. Also, I think it doesn't, even though it looks like the, the back is on fire, it doesn't have to be red Pikmin to kill it. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Uh, one more cycle. And they'll naturally go for the legs. But that doesn't do anything, I don't think. There we go. He's dead. Okay, wait. Um, need to make sure I have enough. I should have enough. This is, um, some sort of canopy. I can't remember what it's called, exactly. Have the rest carry back the carcass. Oh, radiation canopy. Sorry I keep skipping text. I know it kind of hurts the whole feel of the Let's Play, but it's just a force of habit, as I've said. Okay, it is going to be really down to the wire at this point, but I think I can go back and grab those guys that got stuck. Okay, make sure everyone's back in base. That's the base, so I'm gonna run, 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 all of my run, punch, punch, run, run and punch. Run and punch, run and punch. Punch and run. Punch it. There we go. Radiation can be back at base.
radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. But if it does, you can just fill it up with dirt, because that's just what you do. 16 more, and 60 more will unlock us the final area. Wow, four Pikmin? Is that everyone? Oh, there's a couple sprouted. I will try and pluck them if I can, but like, if not, I'm not losing. It, it doesn't count as a loss. But like, it's kind of a waste because, you know, I'm not coming back to this area at all. So. Let's just put everyone away real quick because it's kind of hard to see at night. No duh. Um, did only one Pikmin? Oh yeah, I only lost one Pikmin, so. 13 out of 13, let's go to Sunset. Well that day actually went rather well. Do 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 Different opinions is good. Success and impact. I've managed to increase the range of the dolphin. Looking from the dolphin's portal as it launches ever higher into the sky, I see a vast wetland in the deepest parts of the forest. I shall call it the Distant Spring. I can be begin my exploration of it tomorrow. For now, I'm asleep. 58 Pikmin. 8 Pikmin died. I think it was to the burning snap right? Anyway, it's still really good numbers. 176, I lost three blues. Did I sprout any blues? I can't remember. I think I sprouted a few blues. Eight blues, I guess. No, a few of those were yellows. Or reds. Anyway, next time on How to Plays Pikmin, we'll be trying to finish up the Force Naval. Actually, we'll probably finish it. It's probably going to take a couple days. Of course, I'm speaking in game days. I'm trying to think. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, it's definitely not going to be one day. It's probably going to be two days. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, it'll. Most likely, it's probably going to be like one and a half day, which is going to stink. But, you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Happy Place Pikmin. If you wish to support the channel or this video, or advise me in what I should do in video making, uh, you know what you guys want me to fix, you guys can like, comment, and subscribe, and we will go to the Force Naval in the next episode.